Was it not good because of the win rate or was it not good because of the profitability? Because you guys know how I feel about win rate, right? Win rate is only a small piece of the puzzle. You have your win rate over here. What else plays a role adjacent to win rate? When doing strategy development, this is for, for newer traders, just so we don't, we don't get caught up too much on win rate. Return on investment is the is, is what's going to be the equal. That's the ultimate goal. What um win rate plus what el what else matters? What what else if we're looking at like our profit factor, our expectancy, win rate and yep risk reward. Yep. Win rate and risk reward, and then that's going to give us our return on an investment, our profit factor, all that fun stuff, expectancy, right? So these two things need to work together. So for newer traders out there. And again, we have that chart that I bring up like every every single month, right? I don't want you get getting caught up over the fact that, hey, I had a win rate of 49%. That means it's bad. Well, if you have a win rate of 49%, but if you have a risk reward where your average reward is two and your average risk is one, it's a very profitable strategy. Vice versa, if you have a win rate of like 70%, you have an inverse risk of one to two, you may not be too profitable. So on, always make sure we're not judging it just off the win rate. Make sure we're judging it off of the entirety. And when you're going through the testing process, and I see a lot of people quit on strategies because of this, when we're going through the testing process, right? Here, the win rate is important. So the first thing I look at is win rate. So let's say I, let's say I have a win rate of 49%. Right. What this does is this tells me exactly what I need to work on. So I know I have a win rate of 49 percent. Right. So I know that I'm going to need an average risk reward greater than one to one. Would you guys agree? Because if my risk reward is one to one and my hit rate or my win rate is 49 percent, I'm going to lose money. So. I've already answered the question. Okay, if this is my my win rate, and we can, and you can do it vice versa. If you know yet, if you know that, no matter what, you're taking an average risk of one to one, then you know you need to get your win rate up, right? So it all it all kind of works together, which is cool. And this is the the problem solving of back testing. So let's just take the again this example. If I know I have a win rate of forty nine percent, and let's say like that's what it is. It's solid. It's not really moving. It is what it is, right? So I know that. Okay, why well, I, I need a risk reward of more than one to one. So now take your see. Now I can start asking myself the question, okay, so what do I need to do to make this strategy work? Well, one, I need to win more. I'm not going to write the whole thing out, but win more. Do an arrow. There we go. Win more when I win or and or I should say lose less when I lose, right? Because if I win more when I win and I lose less when I lose, what this does is winning more when I win ups my average reward. Losing less when I lose decreases my average risk. Now, all of a sudden, I have a 1 to 1 that goes to a 1.5 to 1 or a 2.1. Now, a 2.1 with a 49% risk. Hmm? Hmm? We're talking a whole different story here, right? So it's important to to understand, and and I'm not saying you're doing this, uh, Raphael, but like just, I, I see so many traders, newer traders, give up on systems because they're only focused on the win rate. They're saying, "Oh man, 45 percent can't win with that." It's like, well, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's 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 tweak a few things first. And and this is the 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 journey of strategy development, which is uh, beautiful and harsh at the same time. The harsh beautiful journey of strategy development, but it's all about, and we did the, the Q&A last week about AI and, and automation, right? And we talked about um, artificial intelligence and how the, the you know, kind of what's going to happen in trading is, is you know, hedge funds and, and whatever like that is 
we're no longer looking for uh, traders are no longer looking to find the solution. They're looking to identify the problem, right? Because, you know, AI will find a solution for you, but it needs to know the problem. Without knowing the problem, it can't find a solution. So the idea is like, hey, what is the problem? The strategy development is the same way, right? We're looking to identify the problem. So once we can identify what we have, boom, win rate this, risk reward that. Now we know the problem, right? Okay, I need to do win more. I need to lose less or win more when I win, like uh, as far as your, your average return, like not the win percentage, but your average return or lose less. My average risk, reduce my average risk, because that will that will put me in a more positive risk reward and a more positive risk, risk reward with that same win percentage moves me up into that magical category. Or again, vice versa, if we know our risk reward, if we're if we're at a system where it's like, hey, I have a I'm taking a one to one no matter what, like that's my deal for some reason. Well, now we know, okay, well, I need to add a filter that makes my win percentage higher. Because if I'm stuck at a one to one, I need more than a 50% win percentage, I need to be 55 60 to have any, you know, any chance of being profitable. So once we understand the problem, then we can start looking for the solutions. So the first step of strategy development is under understand the problem first. And then you can look for the solutions. And, you know, whether you find a solution that works or not, eh, that's a different story. You may, you, you may not. <laughs> you may, you may not. That, that's the journey. And that's going to be the, the, the fun slash frustrating part, right? The F and F, fun and frustrating part of going through the strategy development process. But I don't want you guys giving up on stuff too early until you've exhausted those measures first, until you've identified the problem, until you've searched for ways to solve the problem. And if you don't find any ways to, to, to solve it, then it's like, okay, then you can, okay, let's move to the next thing. Um, but at least make, make the attempt first because um, you never know what you might find. Hope you enjoyed the video. Before you leave, make sure you like and make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you have any comments or questions about anything discussed, feel free to leave it below. I do go through and read each and every one. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. And until next time, plan your trade, trade your plan. Have a great weekend.